Dear viewers, once again welcome in our participation. Today we will discuss about a special type of verb. Let us try to guess what might be our uh, today's topic. Okay now, here in the first picture you can see that mother is feeding the baby. Okay, so the sentence is mother feeds the baby. In the second sentence you can see that uh, a barber is cutting hair. That means I had the barber cut my hair. Okay now in the first sentence actually uh, the baby is not eating itself. Rather the mother is providing food to the baby. That means mother is person who is the how is giving the food to the baby okay in the second sentence we can see that actually uh, i am not cutting my hair whether the barber is cutting my hair that means the barber is the person uh, who is cutting my hair so uh, i think you now you can uh, guess what might be our topics today okay our actually's topic is uh, causative verb. Actually, causative verb is a verb that is used to indicate that one person causes another person to do something. Here you can see actually mother uh, is the person who is giving uh, food to the baby. So this verb fits this causative verb. Why? Because one person is doing something for the other. Here also uh, uh, had is causative verb. Why? Because actually I myself not cutting my hair. Rather, uh, uh, the barber is cutting my, my hair. The barber is the person who is uh, cutting my hair. So, head, the verb is causative verb here. Okay, now, uh, uh, in English there are uh, many causative verbs, but most frequently causative verbs are uh, have make, let, get, and help. Why they are causative? There may be a question. Actually, uh, they are causative because they cause something else to happen. Okay? Now, please, uh, let us uh, make it clear uh, by the sentence. Okay? Uh, here we can see that John cleaned the room. How cleaned the room? John. Okay. Actually, John himself Clean the room. Okay, now let us go to the next sentence. Here, uh, John had Alex clean the room. Actually, here, uh, John did not clean the room. Okay, John did not clean the room. Rather, he gave order to Alex and had the room cleaned by him. Here, had is the causative verb. Why? Because uh, it indicates that. Uh, uh, it indicates that uh, Alex is the cause for John to clean the room. Okay, now let us go to the structure of causative sentences. The structure is at uh, first there will be a subject, then CV. CV means causative verb, then agent. Who is the agent? Actually, agent uh, maybe the person or maybe the thing who is going to do something for another person okay so this is the agent okay then we will use verb and last of all object yes uh, another thing additional thing is about object is that it may be direct object or indirect object okay now let us go to the um, sentence okay subject I had the barber cut my hair here I is the subject head is the causative verb here and agent or uh, by whom had it been done actually it was done by the barber so the barber is the agent and uh, after uh, in most of the time after causative verb we use the base form of the verb okay cut and uh, my here is the object okay now uh, actually here there another thing arises that in which tense is it actually here we have two verbs one is the causative verb had and another is cut actually always uh, remember that always the causative verb indicates the tense okay now uh, a few minutes ago i told you that uh, have make let get and help 
these are the most frequently used causative pairs okay these are causative pairs but there are some a little bit difference among them let us uh, know what have indicates actually uh, have indicates that someone does something uh, for you because you pay or ask them to do it here in the example you can say uh, you can see that I had the barber cut my hair actually you are paying the barber for cutting your hair so you have used I had the barber cut my hair so head always indicates that someone does something for you because uh, uh, there is involvement of payment here okay now uh, let us go to get okay actually get indicates that someone does something for you because you pursued it or convinced to do it here in the example we can see I got my kids to go to bed okay actually uh, uh, why my kids uh, uh, went to bed because I convinced them so uh, got is used to indicate that someone does something for you because you persuaded them or you convinced them okay now next one may actually make indicates that you force someone or somebody to do something okay now in the sentence you can see that I made my younger brother do the work okay actually I forced my younger brother to do this okay actually I did not do the work rather my younger brother did the work and I, I in, in forced him to do it so I used I made my younger brother do the work so made is made indicates that you force someone or somebody to do it uh, let actually uh, let means uh, you are allowing allowing something someone uh, to do something or uh, you are uh, giving permission to something to happen here in the sentence we can see that she let the student go out okay actually she is giving permission her students to go out okay so have indicates uh, uh, someone does something because uh, payment is involved here okay get means uh, you are pursued it some, someone or you are making convinced whenever we use make make indicates uh, one sort of uh, force okay and let means one sort of permission okay now in all these sentences actually we used active uh, voices you can also use passive voice okay uh, in positive sentences okay now the structure of passive voice is subject uh, plus uh, causative verb plus object and uh, verb and here the verb will be the uh, past participle or the p3 form okay I had my hair cut okay I had my hair cut here I is the subject had is the causative verb object is my hair and uh, the past, past participle form of the verb cut is cut but here you can say uh, who cut my hair it is not mentioned yes actually the accent is not mentioned okay I had my hair cut if I say this uh, it means that uh, uh, the barber cut my hair actually okay the accent is not uh, 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 written here actually it is optional you can write it or not okay uh, because it can be easily understood in the second sentence you see that I got my car fixed okay who fixed my car of course a mechanic so the agent you can write the ascent or you can also omit the ascent it is optional okay so dear viewers that was our today's lesson I think you could easily understand uh, what is causative verb actually we use them in our everyday uh, in our everyday life a lot of uh, causative sentences but actually we are not uh, aware about the fact okay uh, that is our today's lesson uh, okay goodbye thank you have a nice time